We are reopening item 5.12, which was pulled from the consent agenda, and as previously described, we will move forward. Well, not yet, because it's not public comment. There, there's, you gotta wait for that. Deputy Delegianis, please. Yes, hello, Marina Delegianis. I serve as the Deputy Water Resources Director for the Lake County Watershed Protection District. I am joined here by Angela De Palma Dow, Water Resources Invasive Species Program Coordinator, who does that amongst many other things. Um, she is joined here with this item, so I am gonna pass it over to Angela De Palma Dow. Thank you, Marina. Um, so I also manage our stormwater programming with lots of assistance from staff. And this is one item that, um, you know, for many years since we've had a stormwater permit uh, that went into effect in 2003, we've been required to do urban stormwater monitoring. Um, and we are now starting that process. Um, and as you know, in 2019, the board approved um, an agreement between the co-permittees for our MS4 stormwater permit which is for the County of Lake, the City of Lakeport, and the City of Clear Lake. And the city councils at both of those jurisdictions also approved an agreement, which basically outlined shared um, responsibilities and shared duties in meeting Clean Water Act National Pollution Discharge Elimination System permit, which is our MS4 um, permit, stormwater permit. So today we're asking that the board approve a reimbursement agreement so that we can jointly pay for the services of both doing urban stormwater monitoring as well as associated orders, which is a pyrethroid, which is pesticides. It's like residential pesticides. There are six compound isomers of these py pyrethroids that we're testing for. Um, and this is very expensive um, sampling. And so we have a cost share uh, between the two jurisdictions, our co-permittees at Lakeport and Clear Lake, um, and the county of which will do the sampling. And so that's what these agreements are here before you today, is both describing the cost share for annual baseline stormwater monitoring um, and then also this pyrethroid order from the state that's required. Um, and this, uh, these materials have already been reviewed and approved by the Management Council, which has seven members um, that are made up from both jurisdictions, um, staff and elected officials from councils and boards. And with that, I can take any questions from the board or the public. Thank you very much. And also the um, Clean Water Committee is a Brown Act committee that uh, notifies the public for when these meetings do occur. Uh, so anyone is eligible to attend those meetings. I believe there's Zoom only at this moment in time, uh, but anyone that has uh, the ability to do so is able to join the meeting and provide comments and listen into these conversations as these conversations have been happening at least for the last, I wanna say three to four months to work on these agreements themselves. So appreciate it finally coming to us uh, so we can check that off the box and move on to the next step. Uh, any questions or comments from board members? All right, let's go ahead and open it up for the public. Please come to the microphone. Joan Moss, so the material is, could you pronounce that please better for me? Pesticide, pyrethroid, what is the material that you're it's gonna sample pyrethroid? for? And where do we get exposed to it? In the cities or in the vineyards, where do we get exposed? Those are my questions. And do so you hear my questions? If it's possible to respond to what kind of chemicals are, are you looking for, where do they come from? So the term pyrethroid is a um, classification of a group of pesticides um, usually, therefore, uh, they could be for agriculture pests, also household pests. Agriculture? It's used in agriculture? There are a variety of them that are used in agriculture, but this um, item that's going before the board today is for urban stormwater. So this urban is testing, stormwater? It's testing water from the urban sources, so from the city. So it's looking for traces of residential pesticide use that have toxic uh, implications for specific types of insects. Residential pesticide use. Yes. And how are you going to sample the residents that have this? Or are it's you not just... individual residents, it's uh, general discharges from each urban area that have been um, selected. And uh, you know, we have four sites. 
uh, one in uh, Nice, one in um, Clear Lake, one in Lakeport, and one in Middletown. They're discharges before the water gets to receiving water bodies, before it gets to the lake or streams or creeks. And these have been approved, reviewed and approved by the state um, for us to conduct this monitoring and it's required, the state defines the requirements and how and where we sample. Um, we're just abiding by their requirements. I, I'd like to interrupt real quick, make sure to please ask the questions to the board. Let's yes. go ahead and okay. go through your questions and then I will request if there's a need for water resources to so respond. So in cases of flooding and discharging of floodwaters, they're going to have monitors there measuring one pesticide or a, a number of pesticides. It's a, from what I'm understanding, it's a number of pesticides. It's a group of pesticides that they will be checking for. And it's not because of floodwaters, it's because of storm water. So anytime there's rain, there's going to be runoff. That runoff is eventually going to enter into our bodies of water, such as Clear Lake. And we are checking to make sure that in the res high residential areas where people might be able to use those things in their backyards, uh, that we're not getting a large amount of that uh, pyrethroid being seen in our test. And do the results of the test come to Lake County or do they come back to the state? So the results are public and will be discussed in, in our Clean Water Committee. Again, that is a public meeting that you can attend. Can you uh, provide for when the next meeting is? Yes, I'd like to know that. I believe we have it in December. Um, or no, November. Hold on, looking, checking right now. Uh, I believe it's the week before Thanksgiving in November. Yes, on the 18th, Thursday, at 1 p.m. And we, pub we put that information on our website, our Facebook, um, and uh, we can, if someone can't attend virtually, we always uh, offer alternatives for attendance. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay, my comment. And, and if we can make that your final comment, because there's been a lot of back and forth, and our three minutes are up. Okay. I do have something to say, but I can wait. My comment is... Um, I'm glad the state is concerned. I'm glad you're monitoring. I'm glad you're going to report to the public. Recently, I went to a Blue Ribbon Committee and meeting. I watched it. I didn't know how to ask, but I do know how to ask here. And I want to know if items like mercury, which might be in the dirt, which might be in the stormwater, is tested for. I think there's a lot more mercury in the dirt and the soils of Lake County than um, is acknowledged. And the mercury man who is going to do the mercury work is going to get millions of dollars to study fish. And I believe that, that mercury pollution exists within the county and it's in the dirt. And, and so I'd like I, to I, ask I, publicly if there could be some kind of monitoring of mercury in the dirt and if we get a chance to see the results of the monitoring. Thank you very much. Thank you. And so that concludes our public comment. And just so that we can at least provide a, a bit of an answer, this is not looking at mercury. This is very specific on what it is that this will be testing. And so I'm getting nods. Uh, no verbal, but I'm getting the physical <laughs> nods from both uh, members of water resources. So that would be a different um, situation, a different uh, uh, test, and a different entity at this point in time. So uh, let's go ahead and close public comment and bring it back to the board for action. Mr. Chair, sitting as the board of directors for the Lake County Watership Protection District, I offer the resolution. Resolution has been offered. Johanna, roll call, please. Okay, Supervisor Simon. Yes. Supervisor Scott? Aye. Supervisor Pascal? Yes. And Supervisor Scott? Aye. And do I need Thank to you. do the B and yeah. authorize? And um, Mr. Chair, I authorize the Water Resource Director to sign the agreement. Second. And that is a motion from Supervisor Scott. I'm looking for a yes. Yes. Okay. And we have a second from Supervisor Paiska. And roll call, please. Okay, Supervisor Simon? Yes. Supervisor Scott? Aye. Supervisor Pesco? Yes. And Supervisor Scott? Aye. 
And okay. just to make sure, just in case it wasn't clear, the resolution was also offered by Supervisor Scott. 